Have you ever experienced an orgasm without any semen? If so, you might be feeling confused, concerned, or even worried about what's happening to your body. Does this mean something is wrong? Is it a sign of aging? Or worse, could it be permanent? Many men in their 50s, 60s, and beyond experience this unexpected change, yet very few talk about it. Instead, they suffer in silence, unsure of whether they should seek medical help or simply accept it as part of getting older. But here's the truth. Ejaculation without semen is more common than you think, and in most cases, it's not something to fear. Let me tell you a story. Imagine a man in his late 50 sluts call him John. John had always been active, healthy, and confident in his intimate life. But one day, he noticed something unusual. After an orgasm, there was no semen. At first, he brushed it off, thinking it was a one-time thing. But when it happened again, and then again, he started to worry. Was this a sign that his body was failing him? Was he losing his masculinity? John didn't know who to talk to or what to do. Sound familiar? This phenomenon, often referred to as a dry orgasm or retrograde ejaculation, is something many men experience but rarely discuss. The good news? It's usually not a cause for alarm. In fact, it's often a natural part of aging or a side effect of certain medications or medical conditions. But understanding why it happens is the first step to reclaiming your confidence and peace of mind. So let's break it down. What causes ejaculation without semen? One common reason is retrograde ejaculation. This occurs when semen, instead of being expelled through the urethra, flows backward into the bladder. It's not harmful, and the semen is later passed out during urination. This can happen due to aging, certain medications, or even after prostate surgery. Speaking of medications, some drugs like those for high blood pressure or depression can interfere with the ejaculatory process. And then there's the natural decline in testosterone levels as men age, which can reduce semen production. But here's the thing. While these changes might feel unsettling, they don't have to diminish your quality of life or intimacy. In fact, many men find that understanding these shifts allows them to approach their sexual health with a new sense of empowerment. For example, John eventually spoke to his doctor, who explained that his dry orgasms were likely due to a medication he was taking for his blood pressure. With a few adjustments, John was able to regain his confidence and continue enjoying a fulfilling, intimate life. The key takeaway? Knowledge is power. By understanding what's happening in your body, you can take proactive steps to address it. Whether that means talking to your doctor about medication side effects, exploring lifestyle changes to boost your overall health, or simply opening up to your partner about your concerns, you're not alone in this journey. And let's not forget the emotional side of things. Intimacy isn't just about physical function. It's about connection, trust, and shared experiences. For many couples, navigating these changes together can actually deepen their bond. It's an opportunity to explore new ways of being intimate, focusing on emotional closeness and mutual understanding. So if you've experienced ejaculation without semen, don't panic. It's not the end of your sexual vitality. It's just a new chapter. And like any chapter, it's what you make of it. With the right mindset, support, and information, you can continue to enjoy a fulfilling, confident, and connected, intimate life. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.